vision problems become more challenging with age. Your eyesight becomes blurry, colors appear faded, and it becomes difficult to see in low light conditions. All this could indicate a condition of cataract. Hi, this is Dr. Lakshmi, and you're watching Jashoda Hospital's The Health Talk Session, where all your health-related queries are answered here. So let's discuss and know more about cataract and cataract surgery in our today's episode. Joining our discussion today is Dr. M. Banu Prakash, cataract cornea and refractive surgeon from Yashoda Hospital's High Tech City. Welcome to the program, Doctor. Thank you. So, Dr. Banu Prakash, studies show that nearly 74% of people develop cataract by the time they hit their 60s. So, to begin with, what exactly is cataract and how common is this condition? Cataract actually is a lens opacification. Normally, in the normal population, the lens has to be clear. But as uh, individual ages above 55 or 60, the lens becomes opacified or I can say the clarity of the lens decreases. So by uh, decreasing the clarity of the lens uh, because of the protein deposition as one's age is above 50 or 55, the vision drops out and uh, they cannot see the uh, vision so clearly as they were usually uh, before they used to see. So this is what is cataract. It uh, derives from the word from Egypt waterfall. It's interesting how its name is derived. So are there any symptoms that we all should be aware of and are there any risk factors which are associated with this condition, doctor? So most common symptom is the glare when they are driving in the night. Next is the clarity of the vision comes down uh, because of the increase in the uh, lens opacification. The third is double vision, sometimes uniocular. One eye they will have double vision whenever they are seeing an image. And uh, the other thing is a reading problem, even they will have, uh, uh, when the cataract increases to a, like grade, there are different grades in the cataract, like grade one, two, three, four, when it goes into grade three to four, even the reading becomes difficult, even with the glasses. Normally, uh, humans, they cross the age above 55 or 60. The lens opacifies, the causes is mainly the ultraviolet rays. People who are exposed more to ultraviolet rays, they get early cataract and not only the ultraviolet rays people uh, like uh, whose uh, nutrition is not so good or uh, their health condition is not good like uh, some ocular uh, eye infections eye inflammations uh, there are some medical conditions called uveitis sarcoidosis so they get early cataract and people who are on steroids for asthma joint pains they get early cataract and the most common cause now uh, the for early cataract is diabetes and uh, the risk factor is the age everyone once they cross uh, 60 or 65 they are definitely going to get cataract and uh, they need to get surgery done for better vision so once a patient presents to your clinic with these symptoms what are the different tests that we usually do uh, before uh, like diagnosing the cataract when the patient comes to the eye checkup, we usually check their vision uh, and the eye pressure also to rule out glaucoma. Sometimes they have associated glaucoma along with the cataract. Uh, we check the vision. Usually uh, there is a grading in the vision like, like 6 by 60 to 6 by 6, there is a Snellen chart. Based on the visual grading, we diagnose them whether they have a cataract, significant cataract or not. And after that, we check in a microscope. Uh, this is called slit clamp wherein we grade the cataract depending on the uh, color of the lens like if it is a grade one it is usually gray and if it is yellow it's grade two and brown it's grade three and black it is grade four once we diagnose the cataract we send them for a lens calculation it's called biometry it gives you the accurate power the intraocular lens to be placed after cataract surgery once the lens uh, power calculation is done by the IL master 700 or some solomed ultrasonic scanner we usually select the lens based on the uh, patient's individual preferences, whether they want to use glasses or they want to be glass free uh, or they are okay with only distance and intermediate. So discussing about cataract surgery, doctor, what are the different lenses which are available and how do they differ? Uh, there are different lenses available in the market. Uh, 
uh, broadly classified as monofocals and premium lenses. Uh, premium lenses are like called toric lens, multifocals, trifocals. Nowadays, they have come with the add of extended depth of focus lens. If some uh, patients want, you know, I want to be glass free and uh, I don't want to wear glasses, then we go for a premium lens. Uh, those are like multifocal or trifocal. The multifocal and trifocal lenses correct both distance, intermediate and near. And people who want to drive a lot, but uh, uh, in the night specifically, they want to drive in the night and uh, they don't want that glare and they want glass free for at least computer and distance, then we go for a Adolf lens, it's called extended depth of lenses. So talking about cataract surgery, doctor, what is the latest technology that we implement and what is the duration of the surgery? Now with the invent of this laser called phaco emulsification, it's called actually called ultrasonic power, what we use to remove the lens. Uh, that's called phaco emulsification. The newer still advanced is the femtosecond laser for the cataract surgery. What we do in uh, phaco emulsification is now we don't give any injection. It's like a painless procedure, no stitches, no pain and recovery is very fast within one day. The surgery uh, time is very less. It's just eight to 10 minutes. And the recovery period is just, maybe I can say, six to eight hours. And by next day, they are fine and they can do their routine activity. They can watch TV, they can go for a walk. And I can say maybe five days or six days, they can be like a normal, uh, how they were before. And they can carry on their day-to-day -day activities after three, four days. So can this surgery be done on both the eyes at the same time, doctor? Usually, we uh, operate one eye, one day. And the uh, other eye, we usually try to operate by next day. Our best will be after one week, not on the same day. So when a person is diagnosed with cataract doctor, I'm sure they have many questions on their mind. So it's now time to bust few myths and know the fact. Taking the first one, cataract can occur only at an elderly age. No, uh, not only elderly, it can happen in even newborn babies also. It's called congenital cataract. And even developmental, maybe at the age of 10, 15 also, uh, the infants or the kids can get the cataract. Uh, it's called developmental cataract. And even uh, people who are using steroids for asthma or joint pains or some uh, connective tissue disorders, uh, for a long time, like maybe three years, four years, systemic steroids, they can also get early cataract. The next one, cataract can grow back even after the surgery is done. It's called after cataract. Routinely, previously, uh, the after cataract have used to happen with uh, the lens which are called hydrophilic lenses. Now with the, in, uh, with the advancement of the lens technology, hydrophobic lenses, the cause of after, after cataract is less compared to the hydrophilic lenses. So even, even hydrophobic lenses can, uh, few patients can get the after cataract, but it can be treated with simple laser with like one minute or 30 seconds. And once it is done, it is done. It's called after cataract. And cataract doesn't come after cataract surgery once it is removed. And the last one, cataract can be prevented with a healthy lifestyle following a good diet and eye exercises. No, cataract cannot be prevented with uh, diet and exercise. It can be delayed with uh, good nutrition like vitamin A, C and E and uh, zeaxanthin vitamins. and. Uh, Avoiding ultraviolet rays can prevent, can say, delay the cataract if you use the ultraviolet uh, glasses. So before we wrap this episode, doctor, is there any message that you would like to share with the audience out there as far as eye health is concerned? Cataract is a very uh, skilled surgery, I can say, not a simple surgery. But compared to the previous, like, decade, now with the technology, what we have with fake emulsification and femtosecond laser, it's a painless uh, no stitches, no injection. It's a recovery time is very fast. Uh, early cataract surgery is the best option because with the laser, if it becomes very mature, uh, so, uh, we have to use more power energy to remove the lens. So a little bit of discomfort will be there. So early cataract surgery is the key for getting good result and for the patient comfort also. Thank you, Dr. Banu Prakash. It was wonderful having you here on our program today. Thank you. So this brings us to the end of this episode. Hope this episode was informative on the topic cataract and cataract surgery. So stay informed and prioritize your eye health and do join us for next week for more informative health topics. Until then, 
Take care and stay healthy. Thank you.